Hi guys, welcome back to the Common Tennis video. Today is a little bit different. I'm gonna be reviewing a shoe for you guys, so no racket review, a little change up. Today I'm gonna be talking about the A6 Court FF Novak. So this is the shoe that Novak Djokovic uses. Uh, so he switched from the Adidas Barricades. He had his own version of those that he was using, uh, which was based off of the Barricade 7, I think. But anyways, he switched to A6 recently. He's done pretty well with the A6 shoes. And uh, so I had to pick up a pair to try it. I've never tried the A6, and I see a lot of players jumping on board with them as well. I also saw some club players wearing some A6, so I had a chat with them about what they think, and all I heard was really good reviews about the A6 shoes. So I picked up a pair from the Racket Guys to try them out. Well, there's a couple things that I look for in a tennis shoe. So one of the most important things being durability. I do spend a lot of time on the tennis court, especially in the summer when I'm coaching and running summer camps. So it's important for me to have a really good durable shoe that's gonna last for multiple months and some intense training sessions as well. I already use this shoe on court for about six hours and I see very little wear and tear on the shoe. It looks pretty much the same as when I picked it up. The tread at the bottom, it's a little dirty right now, but it still has all the tread and I'm not seeing any kind of breakdown in the in the sole of the shoe here. They have this reinforced center area here, which also allows for really good flex through the midfoot here. It makes the shoes very comfortable and makes them handle really well. So besides durability, another thing that's really important for me is comfort and weight. I kind of put those two together. If the shoe feels heavy on my foot, of course, it's not going to be comfortable running around in it for hours at a time. What I found with this shoe is that it does feel pretty light on the foot. It kind of has like that feeling like the Vapor X from Nike. So it's a pretty lightweight shoe. What I was really impressed with is how they were able to combine the lightweight with the durability. What we usually see is that if the shoe is very durable, it tends to be a little bit heavier and more uncomfortable on the foot, a little bit more taxing when you're running around for a long period of time. Or you can go the other way and have a shoe that's very comfortable and light, but usually those are not going to be very durable. So what I think ASICS did really well is combining the two things that I was looking for in terms of durability and that lightweight comfort. So it's kind of like a cross between the Nike Vapor X and the Adidas Barricades that we had in the past. I rate this shoe very highly. Um, one thing that really stuck out to me in terms of like a unique feature to the shoe kind of looks like these gills that run through it right here. This adds to a pretty cool look to the shoe, but what it does also is it allows the toe to have a lot of flex. So it makes this shoe very comfortable to run in, especially if you have to drop down for low ball. Anytime that you're on your toes, it really allows you to, to flex that front of the shoe very easily. So that was something I was very happy with. Also, if you look in here, it is very cushioned at the back with the heel and around the ankles, so it does provide a lot of stability and comfort around the ankles. Now, some of the features of the shoe, we've got the ASICS logo drawn out really nice and big on the side, kind of like I mentioned, it kind of has that sports car looking grill and gills over here. It makes it look very sleek. And at the back, some of these details that are kind of akin to the Djokovic design. It has a Novak Djokovic logo on the back. It kind of has like a music note right here. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, but if anybody knows what that symbol is supposed to be, you can let me know in the comments down below. And another little touch that it also has a unique feature is it kind of has this little dove on the front. I think it's a dove, but anyways, that's another cool little feature that we have there alongside that Novak Djokovic logo. So I've also included a little bit of footage of what this shoe actually looks like in action. So I'll show you guys that brief clip. I hope you guys enjoy and it kind of gives you an idea of how the shoe actually moves in a game situation.
So I hope you guys were able to see from that little clip that I showed you how the shoe actually performs on the court. Like I said, it has really good stability. You can see in the video that it had really good maneuverability and especially that flex on the front toe. Um, I hope that came through in that video. And of course, the shoe looks really great on the court as well. It really pops with the colors that it has. It's a very nice white with the green. really stands out when you're on the court. So if you guys haven't checked out this shoe yet, I recommend you give it a shot. If you were a fan of the Barricade and you're looking for something a little bit lighter, or you're a fan of the Nike Vapor X, but we're looking for a little bit more durability out of the shoe, I find that these ASIC Court FF Novak do a really good job of blending those two positive features of those two shoes into one. So check this shoe out. I'm sure you're not gonna regret it. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up because that helps the YouTube algorithm boost the video, helps me get a little bit more views, and it really supports the channel and helps me grow. So I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that thumbs up right below the video. Another thing that helps out is subscribing to the channel and that way you won't be missing any new uploads coming from my channel. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.